Bolton, look like Michael Bolton. Call him Migo, cooking crack up in the cold drain. Smell like C4 in my palace, I'm the Sultan. The Black Vulcan, Trekkie or Sultan. Beam her up, Scotty, the coke is too potent. I'm Andrew Dice Clay, but this clay is so sculpted. I'm exalted. Live from 520 Bar and Grill in beautiful downtown Bellevue, I'm ending the summer with a huge, huge bang today. Yeah. Um, really, really special guests. Sometimes when you're part of the old school, you get some uh, you access to information and uh, you hear things. And all summer long and beyond, I've been hearing about the guest I'm going to be speaking with uh, today throughout the entire Northwest. They call him next, they call him completely original, they call him a lot of things. I'm gonna call him by his name, Nacho Picasso. Please say hello. Nacho, yeah, what's going on? <laughs> Thank you so much for, I know we've been uh, trying to connect now for a little while. Yeah. I appreciate you coming out today on the holiday weekend. You already know, man. So, uh, Nacho, you're widely considered to be the uh, hottest rapper in the game right now oh shit. I talked with a lot of people and they've said that uh, while while some don't because it's so completely original your material oh, and it. what you're doing that uh, some don't exactly know you know where your niche is or where where you, you are classified yeah but, but you're still the hottest rapper in the game <laughs> I appreciate it man so with that in mind um, that's my first question what is the style of yours and and how how would you just how would you describe it oh i don't even know how to describe my own style um it, it's pretty dark trance i call it trance slaps you know what i'm saying trance slaps yeah we do we, we do a lot of dark trancey music but um my flow my flows i don't know i've been listening to a lot of blues and a lot of Musics other than rap that I've been borrowing from and um, I rap so much. I haven't really been listening to a lot of rap unless it's instrumentals mm -hmm. and uh, Just kind of like to do my own thing, you know move through my own beat, you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now being from the Northwest it looks like you have a lot of um, Interesting uh, influences. I was listening to the uh, you know record. You know, I just met Nacho Picasso even though I've been hearing about him <laughs> uh, Just just recently met him and I was reviewing your uh, album uh, Lord of the Fly. Yeah, and um, There's a lot of references to people like you know Kurt Cobain. Oh, and, of course uh, the doors. Oh, and, yeah know, so, but, I mean, so is this where a lot of your influences come from is you know from, from a lot of the alternative? Uh, you know, well growing up growing up in Seattle in the 90s like, I don't care who you are, you know what I'm saying? You got to pay homage to Kurt Cobain and what Nirvana mm -hmm. did for the for the town and the scene mm -hmm. and for music in general. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, the doors, man, you know? that yeah. That's more like a lifestyle, you know? Like, just wild and just how they're out there, you know what I'm saying? And I wouldn't yeah. say so much create uh, creativity-wise, I don't really borrow from them, mm -hmm. but... um. I live more like them, you know, more right. carefree and wild, trying to bring that back. Right, right. Okay, I understand. But, uh, your name comes up about the same time as Macklemore's, you know, oh. right, right now. Yeah. And I know that that's uh, kind of unfair because it's apples and oranges. You know, Mac Macklemore is doing wonderful things <laughs> with his style of music and you're doing yours. But, uh, you know, it, 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 it it's interesting to me because... You know he's doing so well, yeah. and he's and he's got this inc you know incredible thing he's doing right now, especially with that thr thrift shop video and, and, and what's happening. But you're right there too, right <laughs> now. And I was just wondering, is that is that pressure for you right now? I mean, as far as the town goes, and as how they're looking at, as far as how they're looking at you. Uh, no, I, n I never feel pressure. You mm -hmm. know, um, I just make the, I just make it and put it out there and wonderful things happen. Shouts to Macklemore, you know what I'm saying? He's been grinding for a long time. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And uh, good things are coming. And uh, there's more people in the town other than me and him yeah. that are probably just equally as good. Mm -hmm. And uh, whoever whoever gets in the door is going to open up the windows for the rest of the town. So yes. 
Yes. Shout out to anybody that's doing it, you know. It takes a lot of courage to even put yourself out there like that in general. Yeah. So, yeah, shout out to everybody in town trying to get on. Absolutely. Now, you clearly didn't just jump, j drop out of the sky and start, you know, doing doing this. Can you tell us a little bit about how you started out, you know, uh, here in Seattle and, you know, what, what that story entails? I, uh... I, I was always able to freestyle. I would battle rap everybody at school because I was good at talking shit. I was good at ranking on people mm -hmm. and I could think of things quick. And then uh, I went in the studio one day when I was like 18, 19 and realized that I don't know how to write songs. <laughs> right, right. I, I realized that battle rapping and rapping is not even in the same, you know, it's mm -hmm. as much as street ball and playing in the NBA, you know, it's two different sports. So I just sharpened my craft, um, started a group with my bro, Jarv D and Steezy Nasser. Mm -hmm. Shout outs to BAYB. And a few years ago, maybe 08, I want to say, we dropped uh, Ziploc Hip Hop. Okay. And uh, that was a, a group effort, Badass Yellow Boys. And um, yeah. shortly after that, I got with my cousin Raised by Wolves. And we put out a grimy mixtape like uh, called Blunt Raps. Okay. We put it out. We didn't mix. We didn't master it. It was just nothing but bars and beats. You know what I'm saying? It was the most disrespectful punchlines. Everything I've been holding in that whole time that I wanted to be able to put on paper, mm -hmm. I, I, I got it out with blunt raps. And uh, that those were my first two little joints that I put out. And then from then, I hooked up with Blue Sky Black Death, and it was ball rolling. Yes, yes. And on the subject of uh, Blue Sky uh Black Death and this collaboration, it, uh, it seems to be working very well. Uh, they're, they're sort of your de facto uh, production as well as assistance with the, ma not management, but bookings and, uh, you know, just, just sort of the o overall. Right now. We're very in-house. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, uh, yeah, we're very much in-house, man. Like, Kingston shoots the videos. We, he's never shot a video before. And uh, we shot, um, was it a... Uh, what was the first video? Numb Nuts, maybe. Okay. And um, shot everyone since then, you know? Wow. And uh, Numb Nuts is up to how, how many views? A lot. Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah. It's just been rolling. We do everything in-house. Just like five of us, three of us. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we okay. just put it out there and the ball is rolling, you know? Okay. Very independent right now. Wow, it sure sounds like it. Now, uh, you you gave me some kind of some surprising information earlier today. Um, he has, and normally I wouldn't even recommend this as a former, you know, record promoter, and and marketing guy. I, I normally wouldn't recommend putting out three projects in a year, but for some reason um, that maybe Nacho can only explain, uh, it's really working. Uh, the first two to have dropped. Maybe you could give us the names names of these projects and when they um, came out and. For the Glory, For the Glory dropped maybe last September, September of 011. Okay. Um, Lord of the Fly dropped maybe a month or two in the into the new year, 012. And um, my last effort was Exalted. Exalted dropped um, maybe two months ago. It's, it's doing real good. Exalted right now is my favorite. Because, you know, your, your last is always going to be your first and your last, you know? Right, right. But um, my next, you know, hopefully it will be my favorite. I always want to, I'm not going to put it out if I don't feel like it's up to par. Right. I owe it to my fans and, you know, right. people rocking with me. Right. I owe them that much, you know? Yeah, yeah. And because it is the new music, uh, you know, industry back in the day, you know, you take a single or two off of each project, you work it to death, you get them, you know, do the whole mix show circuit, the strip club circuit, you know, you, <laughs> you know, do all this stuff and build it. And what Nacho is proving, like so many, uh, you know, artists out here, is that, you know, you, you you just put it out, you produce the best videos that you can, you know, with it, yeah, and the calls start coming in. Feel the dreams. Feel the dreams. You build it. And he's getting, you know, this guy's getting booked everywhere. In fact, uh, you've got something coming up in Dallas, is that correct? Yeah, I believe we got something coming up in Dallas in uh, fall. We're working out a bunch of stuff. We're just trying to trying to line it up right so we just hit everything and come back. Right. I like to, I don't like to come back home. I want to go hit everywhere and then come back home and rest. So we're yeah. just, we got some things in works. Very good. 
I'm coming to a theater ne near you, you know? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And you mentioned uh, South by S Southwest 2013. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be a South by Southwest. We was there last year. Okay. It was great. You wow. know, now I know what to expect. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited. I, I went in there blindfolded last year and uh yeah yeah now i know what to expect i'm i'm excited wow wow all right are there any uh, collaborations in the works are there any other uh, people that um you know you're you're in discussion with are you pretty much on a solo uh you know i mean beside of course blue blue sky black death oh, yeah. um any other any, any other people that you're working with right now or, or um, want to I got two songs on my boy uh, Avatar Young Blazes' mm -hmm. uh, upcoming album, Soviet Goonian. It's dropping soon. Okay. Got two cuts on him. Um, it's not on, it's not on me. It's in me. And uh, Scumbag Anthem. Yeah. Okay. Check that out. <laughs> and uh, I, I've been doing a few features here and there. You know, okay. I'm up into doing features. Right now, I'm, I'm primarily working on another solo solo project with Blue Sky Black Death okay. and uh, I don't have any features on that so far. I've I've never used any features on my album except for Jar of D, shout out to Morgan and 84 Fly. Those are the only two out of the um, last three albums. Those are the only two features on my album. So well, the two, the I'm, two. I'm not I'm not close to it, but I'm, I don't rely on it at yeah. the same time. Yeah, but when you do, I mean, these are some pretty, pretty, pretty cool names in the in the northwest uh, oh yeah business, yeah you know, I'm, so. I'm up into doing music with anybody i always do music with my whole morgan family anytime yeah um anyone who reaches out to me as long as time my time's up you yeah. know as long as i got time i'll try to get there but yeah i'm a big flake at the same time man i'm like in the wind yeah like forest the little feather and forest gump man i just be i don't know where i'm going half the damn time yeah well so far it seems to be really really working for you yeah well, man, congratulations, right. and uh, yeah, absolutely, and uh, toast, toast to you and your 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 future uh, success. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, it's going to be uh, an incredible, uh, you know, run for you. And uh, I want, I just wanted to catch him. What happens is that these guys blow up, and they no longer, you know, will you know, speak with the old man in the living room or the, the patio of the 520 Bar and Grill. So we, we, we enjoy these these kind of uh, opportunities. Well, Nacho, thanks so very, very much for your time today. Oh, of course, man. And really, all the best. It's it's, it's just in, in, incredible hearing about, about you know, everything oh, you're doing. I appreciate you letting me come through, bro. It is. Let me say a shout out to the Moore gang, man. Jarv D, Steezy Nasser, whole family. Shout out Fang gang, man. Danny Darko, you already know, man. Blue Sky, Black Death, Raised by Wolves, man. Appreciate Absolutely. you letting me oh, slide through, anytime, bro. Anytime, man, anytime. I appreciate it. Oh, and my shout-out to uh, Gator, Gator Vision. Gator Vision. And uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great rest of your summer. Bye now. Look at them boobs, but them boobies might be booby trap. Boozies in the jacuzzi, now where my woozy at? Stupid booty cutie, do it for the Scooby Snack. Susie's bad, but she's running from a spooky past. Look at them boobs, but them boobies might be booby trapped. Woozy's in the jacuzzi, now where my woozy at?